Abby Moore with me and the boys, me and the king, king of the mountain and the iron, iron man of the mountain. Mm -hmm. Iron man, yeah. <laughs> And the real Mount Highland Mountain King. No, I'm not. And the tourist. <laughs> and the tourist has been everywhere around the world. We're gonna grab something to eat. Let's go before we climb up there. McDonald's. <laughs> There's Is McDonald's, McDonald's at the resort. Oh. Are we gonna go get McDonald's? <laughs> McDonald's at the resort. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, hike, hike Monday na Monday. Monday hikers. Our Costa. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Mabarakatu. Salawatu lillah. Yalla, yalla. That's great. So beautiful. We're all filled up. Our temples are full. I can barely walk now, but yeah. So um, King's gonna be navigating today. That will be my job tomorrow. I still got my Costa coffee as well. It's so nice with this like wind chill. It's not too cold today because the sun's out, but I bet um, the forecast says tomorrow it's gonna be uh, zero negative one with wind chills up to negative five. Hopefully it's um, quite bearable. But now we're gonna get to, um, what's it? Um, Lake Eiland. I think that's that's gonna be our first, um, first campsite. So yeah, I've got the boys here. We've got the Sherpa boys. Ah, we'll see. Wannabe. Sherpa wannabes. Actually, over there, that's the Sherpa. He's gonna be leading us today. Yeah, we'll see you guys later. We are only like 30 yeah. minutes so in. We went the wrong direction, yeah. <laughs> One of us. Uh, someone needs to be blamed, isn't it? <laughs> I wonder who. <laughs> I, wonder who. I, mean, I, I don't know. That someone. <laughs> someone, yeah. I'm not sure who. I don't know. We'll find but out okay, later. We're back on track. So we're gonna <laughs> do He's practicing his skiing skills. There you go. There you go. Yeah, you're doing it right, yeah. I'm yeah. swimming. Yeah, swimming is <laughs> Alright, let's go. That is so generous of, I don't know, Jin King or maybe Mark. Good job, guys. <laughs> We're only like an hour in or an hour and a half, but we can see um, the three majestic mountains now. We got uh, Kingums over there. We know it's Kingums because of the uh, the ski facilities. And beside it's Ben McDowie and Breivik is probably right behind that black hill over there. Yeah, that's King Gorms over there. Ben McDowie. Breivik is over there. I can see Larry Groove from here. Thank you for the breadcrumbs. So it's that way. Lake that we're heading to. Lock 
Enik. Black Enik. Lovely Enik. We are reunited with the gang, with the Sherpas. There's the two Sherpas. They found this beautiful lake. Huh? Look at that. Fresh from the lake. Yeah. Scottish water, fresh Scottish water. Yeah, yeah. Scottish water. Shit, that was nice. It's frozen. Oh, oh, bro. <laughs> there, there. Can I go some with the knob? Listen to that sound. <laughs> we like little kids here. <laughs> Really nice when you're like tired and sweaty. Not sweaty, but when you're um, hot. Try. Yeah, you need to avoid sweating because it's gonna make you um, colder. Uh, we're taking our time when we're just taking photos of this place. Look at that. Oh, no! If you can see that. Uh, let me try the. There you go. Look at that. It's like they're in uh, the Alps or something. Two guys there. They're, they're all good. Um, the other two, the two Sherpas are way ahead. But but I wish they have um, set up the tents for us. <laughs> Our tents. <laughs> now we'll meet them there. We've got they've got their own GPS. I've got my own as well, so we won't get lost. We just basically need to follow this river which is by the way very clean it's a clear it's like it's literally melted ice uh, all right see you later in the camp hopefully we get there before sunset we can still pitch our tents that i believe is Breyrek. it's the fourth tallest mountain in the uk if i'm not mistaken or third after Ben Nevis and Ben McDewey and I think that's the uh, that's Lake Duane I don't know how to pronounce it over there in that little crater and that's our target right there in between those valleys and the valley over there. Finally, oh, right in the camp. Champs, champs, champs. Oh, thank you. Um, sunlight. We made it in like literally, literally 40 minutes. Oh, sorry, five hours. 
We left at 12.40 and we arrived at 5.40. Five hours. And what time did you arrive? I don't know. 4.15 maybe? Half <laughs> minutes, yeah, alright. So we're like 4 and a half. Good job. Ah, uh, next step. Tents. Let's go. of us didn't get any sleep you know after we set up our tent so we, we didn't set up our tent in the lake because it's too windy so it's so cold so I left my thermometer outside with my bag and it read like negative 20 negative 17 yeah so I had to put it back that's the wind chill though but inside the tent I read the vegetable was like so it's minus 20 zero. right now it's the wind that's causing it to go to nine minus twenty. Yeah. And my I went to and I woke up because well actually I didn't sleep. But I got up like four AM, get some water maybe, um make coffee. So I I went to this small river like half a kilometer away. And I used my gloves to get the water. It just instantly froze from the windshield. But anyway, so the boys just woke up. Um, some of them are making coffee. But oh, look at this view. Look at that. I don't know if you can hear me though. ¿Qué tal? ¿Te puedes dormir? Tarung cagale. Tarung cagale. Yo no quiero dormir, dormir. Oh. <laughs> Expected, yes, eh? See you next Pre! Oh, nakatulog ka, pre? Ha? Ay, tulog ako, ha? Diyo tulog. Nakapahulay rin. Oh. My tent survived the night. Yeah, that's the my big brother. Oh, look at my tent. Oh, this is the older brother. And that's the younger brother. So, updated version of that. 
So it's a lot bigger actually, if you can see. And there's, we've got two cloud ups here. This one's got the snow um, skirt. Uh, this one doesn't have one. I don't know if this worked better with the wind, but obviously it's so um, loud. Like the snow skirts does this noise, annoying noise. But Ned just said he slept a bit. Ah? Kape lang yung putipan? Kape, kape. Then uh, Chimis has this Amazon tent from the brand Hiwo. It's actually quite decent. Survived the wind last night. And mind you, the wind was like maybe 40 miles per hour at least but I did buy some guy ropes for him and yeah tied it up on the back part so, yeah we'll try to pack up and I don't know if we can manage to climb uh, we're gonna skip Bray Rick we're gonna go ahead and climb Ben McDewey so I think we can get his second high speed but we're gonna skip Bray Rick. So go to King Gorms, which is the fourth that I speak. Um, yeah, see you in a bit. Imagine waking up to this view. This view, this view. View? This view. Love you. I love you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna wear them as well when we club the uh, Gator? gators, yeah. So nice. Hi guys, we're all packed up. It took us some time because um, it was so windy, it's really hard to undo, them, to undo the tents. But we're gonna give um, Ben McDewey a try. <sighs> give it a feel if... Um, if not, we'll just stay in the base of the mountain because it's really windy up there. But we'll see. I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, uh, Munro's cancelled because of very high winds, life threatening winds. Instead, we're gonna climb this over here. The hills. As you, as you can see, it's really bad conditions up there, so we won't risk it. We're gonna go hill climbing plus lake hopping. Yeah, at least get our view, make use of our gear. <laughs> we're even using our ski goggles. Even though we're not skiing. It's a good one, yeah. Alright, we'll see you up top. Have lunch with a view. Anchovies up in the mountains. What more can you ask for? Try 
Oh boy. <laughs> oh, it works. Oh, shit. Woo! <laughs> Alright, boys, let's go. Three, two, one, go. We've been treading through this patch land for the past two hours trying to get off from there, that mountain, uh, well the hill beside that. But yeah, we're trying to get ourselves to the lake. Finding it really challenging though. Uh, we had to tread through all of this bush. It's a good, it's a good challenge since we didn't get to uh, climb the Munros. Uh, had something fun to do with slit. We slid through like the ice, it was so much fun. Uh, I can imagine if like, ski on them. So we'll give it a try someday. But then, bad news is all our shoes are wet, like all five of us. It started initially when we um, fell on the river, and then, plus now, when we're treading through these moss, they um, conceal like streams and that, and you step on them. And they could be really deep. And yeah, I'm just trying to be careful. But anyway, we'll get through the path and then uh, walk away to, to the lake. Uh, let's see up. Congratulations, the time <laughs> Perfect. Finally arrived in Lake Aylin. Woo! We have a perfect campsite. Look at that. Dang! Look at that view. Water for days. Cloud up to Helvelin, the he wolf. Cloud up to with snow skirts with Nedjo <laughs> and my 
my Bango Hydro. Oh, so nice. Life is good. Life is good. Oh, perfect dinner. Ramen, coffee, my shoes, and a nice view. What more can you ask for? Let's see. We good. We got these as well. They're spicy um, tofu steaks. They're really good. You should try it. Go buy them from restaurants. Sorry, from Chinese shops. But it's quite hard to find so we bought this from London and gave everyone like two each they're really good just got so windy right now um, and I was scared for our lives because of the um, it's actually a branch here that's about to fall off a weather ma widow maker um, but luckily mine looks fine not too scary although it looks scary when it swings left to right but the wind is so strong just shows you how um shows you how Scotland's weather is changes in um, in an instant when we came here it was so sunny calm the water was still and now this but looks like our setup is okay we'll be all right I don't think I need to um, so uh, more guidelines for this should be alright. <laughs> and the boys should be okay as well. You're mostly tired. They're all in their tents. I might go in as well and um, start resting because it is um we're all tired, we'll just get some sleep. We've all eaten anyway. Um yeah, we'll try to recover from the climb. Looks like we're not gonna chase after any Monroes anymore. We'll just chill and camp and go back to Edinburgh soon. Yeah. The issue with this tent has always been um, the ventilation because when you try to face it against the wind the problem was this vent which is gonna be facing the wind will always be open it doesn't have velcro on it or anything unlike the mirage so yeah Chimmy had a genius idea of putting a pole on it and um, that keeps it close up so hopefully that will work keep me warm tonight let's see up recently well King's gone he had to leave early because he's trying to get the train to um, Inverness he's got a flight um, at around 1 p.m. I think back to Bristol then back to um, Southampton well the four of us will still have another night to come because our um, bus won't be till like tomorrow morning I guess um, we'll just get to another lake, this lake called, um, actually I forgot, I'll put it here. 
but um, it's in Glenmore. The guys are awake as well. Jimmy boy's awake. Neil boy's awake. And Mark is having his porridge. Um, yeah, we woke up. It was really windy, but now it's uh, sun shines out. So um, it's starting to get warmer. That's good. We'll pack up a bit later, maybe nine ish. What time is it now? 8.35, 9 ish. Then by 10, we'll start walking to the other lake. Let's go. Ready to go? As usual, leave no trace. Leave no trace. Cheaters, we're cheating. <laughs> no, we deserve it. We deserve. We deserve this for sure. We're tired. Hi, yeah. Good evening. We are still in Aviemore, specifically again Glenmore, um, by Morlich Lake. Um, we had a good day, um, mostly, isn't it, Nedjo? Yeah, yeah. Yes, we did. Yeah, um, what made it good though? It was the um, the beer for me, the beer. Got one more beer right here to finish. So the guys are back in their tents because after we set up camp earlier, they just started um, drizzling. So I've got my cozy board right here. See Ned Joe's cloud up. He's preparing his food. And the other boys are right there. And they're eating as well. Um, yeah, basically we just walked for like four hours from the previous lake up to here to Lake Morlich. 
found the pub, enjoyed the food and the beer, and found a nice camping spot by the lake, <clears throat> around like 30 minutes walk away. So the plan for tomorrow is uh, we head back to Aviemore to catch our bus in the afternoon. So we'll, it'll be another four to five hours hike. That will be our final hike though. So apparently <coughs> it's gonna be snowing tonight. I don't know if Nejo's source is real, reliable, but it was Google, Google. Google. I don't know if you trust Google, but let's see. Currently it's still drizzling, but it's getting really cold. My feet are so cold. I had to use the um, handy dandy hand warmers from Yak Tracks. And I stuffed it inside my socks. So got more food here, tuna and everything. But yeah, we're just gonna chill. Um, luckily we have um, internet connection here. So we can like, just entertain ourselves till we sleep and then prepare for tomorrow. Let's see. Cheers. Cheers. Salud. Salud. Or salud. Ciao, ciao. Bye, ducks. Bye. Yeah, we're going home. Back to Aviemore. Five more hours trek. But it was worth it. Yeah, let's try. So we can eat something. Four days, three nights. <laughs> Big one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, we all had it too. Mundro bagging was a fail, but we had fun. Yes. Bad weather, but lake bagging. Yeah. We'll do it next time. It's not worth it. So we heard from the news: someone died in Ben Nevis on that really? day that we tried. Yeah. He fell. On that day. Yeah, and the, the day that we were supposed to try it, someone that he fell from a ridge. And 17 other people got stranded, so wow. it was a really good decision for us so to not to go ahead. 10 years old. 10 years old, yeah. That's yeah, crazy. we're gonna try next time. No worries, Scotland thing, will always be there. The thing about Ben Nevis is very dangerous because when you get to the top, right, mm. not many people know, like, some, there's a cliff at the edge. Yeah, people that's where he died. Snow, the red, uh, something. Even if it's summer. At uh, summertime, it's much clearer, but if it's foggy, then that's still dangerous. Yeah. What uh, more in a blizzard? And the wind was like 80 miles per hour, they said. Yeah. But, uh, so white's out. But uh, yeah, I think I've heard stories of people who die. Yeah, not worth it. Falling off the edge. Even just the cane gorm is not worth Even it. Even the one us. that we saw, the Monroe's, yeah. that had a quite steep you know, edge. Yeah. So imagine we slipped. <laughs> we'll be, be on the news. We'll Filipino okay, casualties in Scotland. We're all taking turns. Filipino <laughs> We're going order, yeah. Who dies first? <laughs> all right, but even if it was a bad weather, yeah. if you've got good company, good friends, yeah. no one gets yeah. left behind. All well, good. Well, at least we survived. We walked. Yeah, miles, it was a really miles. good experience. 
Uh, I don't think I'm gonna like winter camping anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, so. camping. Oh, my God. That's yeah, it's probably the most challenging. Yeah. We need to have even better gears. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this oh, is a learning, oh. learning tool for this. Anyway, um, we'll see you guys on the next adventure. Maybe ciao. May. May, we'll see. Yeah.